Hey guys, Alex here from Zcode Tech, and today I'm excited to show you the latest update to our most popular software, Zcode Sports Trader 3.0, which allows you to bet and trade on sports without any need to analyze the games, and that means you can make profits even if you know absolutely nothing about sports at all. Just so you know, we have more than 300 plus automated systems along with more than 5,000 trends available to you through our sports trader. And the pick selection process is fully automated, so you don't need to analyze anything yourself. Oh, and by the way, you can run SportsTrader either as a standalone software on your system, or you could access the web-based app version through the Zcode VIP Club. Now, I'm going to take you through a quick tour of the latest SportsTrader 3.0 upgrade. For those of you familiar with the earlier versions, the first thing you'll notice is an overhaul of the entire interface theme the change in colors, and icons. Overall, the app looks neater and more modern. The main functionality of the application remains the same, but there have been a few tweaks and improvements made by our hardworking Zlab team in order to speed up the app's response and enhance your overall sports trading experience with this new version. So let's get into it. When you first load up Sports Trader, you'll see this main screen with a couple of the profit graphs to the right here. And to the left, it's divided into five main sections. You have the portfolio section here at the top, then the sports and systems selectors. And right below that, you have the systems trend selectors as well. All right, and the advanced selection mode, along with a list of all the possible trends that have been uh, selected here for you and right at the bottom you have the bankroll calculator going back up to the right we have the most important section right here which is the actual games and signal section right below the graphs where it'll give you a full list of all the active as well as past signals that were generated by the trends and systems from this particular portfolio now, each of these sections and features have been explained in depth across many of our sports trader videos, which you can find under the tutorials tab within our VIP members area. So I'm not going to go into detail here at all, but I am going to highlight the main changes or differences that you will see in this new version. Let's take a quick look at the portfolio section. The portfolio advisor is the quickest and most convenient way to quickly create a brand new portfolio from scratch with an optimal selection of systems that will suit your betting style and risk appetite, which are determined by these options over here. All of these have been covered in detail before, so I'm just going to run through the portfolio creation process. So, got sports here. I'm going to choose standard, regular, and I'm okay with any timing. So all I have to do is click calculate. And in this table here, Sports here has handpicked 10 of the best system trends that will not only give me the best profits, but will also meet all the criteria that I selected above here. And right below this table, you have the same thing as the bank loan calculator we saw here and the potential profit graph. So this has got a decent uptrend and it seems like an okay system. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that portfolio. Do you see how effortless it is to create a new portfolio with the advisor? The portfolio analyzer is more useful when it comes to analyzing and breaking down the stats for all of the existing portfolios you've already created and saved within your sports rear. Okay, so below these buttons we have the portfolio drop down, uh, which contains all the portfolios that you've created, as well as other portfolios that have been created by our VIP experts that you can either refer to or even copy for yourself. Let's take a look at the new icons here. First, we have create a new portfolio. Then you have edit or rename the existing portfolio name. And then you have save here. Um, in fact, before you start making any more changes, what I always recommend is for you to click this new portfolio icon and give it a new name. Let's call it active portfolio one. All right, and then click the check mark to save this portfolio. This way, you won't accidentally overwrite any other existing portfolios that you might have used as your initial template. Then you have this information icon here, which gives you a quick summary of the systems and trends included with a breakdown like this. So you have the sports system and trend, as well as a few statistics 
and the recent winning streaks for each of these constituent trends. And finally, this alert button here will give you the links that you need to set either your browser or mobile push notifications so that you can receive alerts whenever a new signal is generated by any of the systems or trends from this portfolio. Okay, so right below the portfolio section, you have these selector boxes. You have the school selector and the system selector. Um, if you were to click within either of these boxes, it'll pop up so you can see all the selections more clearly. For example, these are all the sports that you can choose from, and I'm just going to you know, randomly just add a few more. I'd suggest you click within the white space so that you don't accidentally remove any of your selections instead. And within the system selector, you have all these possible systems listed for all those sports that we selected over here. Now, each system is fully transparent and allows you to analyze its past performance uh, simply by clicking the gear icon next to its name. So this will open the systems page in a new tab with detailed statistics, information, and graphs for that specific system. Anyways, I'm done with looking at all the information for now, so let's just X out of this and move on. Now below these selector boxes, we have a couple of these trend filters, active only and most profitable and stable. Checking either of these options will filter out or add additional trends that meet these specific criteria. And besides this, we also have a few more additional system filters and sorting options, all of which are included in the advanced trend selector mode. So let's just dump straight into that. So this is what the advanced selection mode looks like. You have the sports selector just as we saw earlier, system selector as well. Trend selector with additional filters and even conditions that you can apply. One convenient thing that you will notice is that it mentions the selected number of systems here is 9 and the trends are 10. If you say for example if I were to apply or choose more systems, I'm just for now I'm just randomly selecting more. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just apply this and those additional trends will get added to the list of systems that I already have. Okay, and right below the trend selection mode, we have this list of all the possible trends that are available for the systems and sports that we selected above. But as you'll notice, only there are only a few of them which are checkmarked. So it's only these ones that are actually active. These are the ones that will be generating signals for your portfolio. Honestly, you'd only need to add more systems or trends if you feel like you aren't getting as many signals as you'd like in a day. So if you're the kind of person who prefers more action, then just select a few more of the top system trends. Just by taking a look at the graph, you can make out which one of these systems you'd like to add to your portfolio. Okay, and uh, by the way, whenever you make changes to your portfolio like this, if you were to scroll back up, you'll notice this asterisk symbol right next to the portfolio name which indicates that there have been multiple changes made. So just go and click the save icon in order to make sure that you don't lose any other changes. Now, right below the trend selection area, you have this nifty little bankroll or stake calculator here. This is the same calculator we saw inside the portfolio advisor and it helps you to figure out the optimum unit size based on your available bankroll or if you're only comfortable with a certain unit stake size, okay? So by default, usually the unit size is $100, but let's say I'm not comfortable with that size. I prefer betting with only say five or $10. So let's go ahead and edit that. And then automatically the recommended bankroll will be recalculated for your preferred unit stake size. Or if you prefer, for example, if you have like a smaller bankroll and you'd prefer to keep it limited to that size only, let's say I've got only $500 to spare. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And as soon as I click this, it will calculate the appropriate unit stake size so that you'll be able to maximize your profits safely. So it's the combination of this kind of money management along with all the system signals uh, and results from these trends that contribute to the portfolio's profits. And that's clearly visible from the portfolio chart to the right. This is for one year. All right, let's switch that to three years to get a more long-term picture and take a look at that. The profits have got this nice, decent uptrend, which is what I'm looking for, so that's not bad at all. Oh, and by the way, there's this new option which allows you to hide the graphs. For example, if you feel like they take up too much real estate within your sports trader, you just click this icon to hide the graphs or click again to display them. 
so that's nice and convenient. Now right below the charts, if you don't have any active signals yet, uh, normally you'll see a game section here uh, which lists out the upcoming matches that you might want to keep an eye out for. That's a good reminder for you to keep track of upcoming matches so that you don't miss out on placing your bets based on the system recommendations. Now this is possibly the most important section of all, the active and past signals generated by all the systems and trends from your portfolio. Within this section, you'll find the name and timing of each game listed here, along with the corresponding system and trend that generated the signal, which team to bet on, along with which particular line. So in this case, it's the money line. All right, the expected odds for that team on that line and the stake size in units as well as in dollars. One of the newest features you'll notice here in the signal section is the search bar, which makes it convenient for you to search for specific teams or matches that you're looking for. So all you have to do is, you know, type in a team name and you can jump straight to those picks instead of having to scroll down through the entire signals list. Now, before we move on to the next feature, I want to talk about the signals drop down first. Clicking this, you'll see we have three options here. You have active, past, and my bet history. Clicking on any of these options will filter out the signals list and allows you to focus either on the current active signals or past signals that were generated or even your own bet history, which means that in this case, it will only display the picks that you actually placed bets on, uh, which you can keep track of by checking the I placed it option under this column so let's say for example under active uh, let's say i placed these bets so if i actually place bets at my bookie i'll come back here i'll check to indicate that i have placed those bets and now if i were to check my bet history you will notice that these newer picks have been added to my bet history all right so this is a very convenient way to keep track of the bets that you yourself have placed bets on all right, so now you'll notice that we also added this brand new export button and its functionality depends on the signals drop down right next to it, which is why I wanted to talk about the signals first. So let's say we choose active signals here and then click export. It'll provide you with a report of all the active signals for the day and the file will be provided to you in an Excel format, which you can easily download and view as you wish. If you choose uh, the past signals instead, clicking this will allow you to export the last 100 signals that were generated by your portfolio. And if you click my bet history, then you can export all the picks that you have placed your bets on. All right, so this is going to be very useful and handy, especially for those of you who love statistics and would love to collect data and crunch the numbers for yourselves. Next, we have this sort option, which allows you to sort either by the game date or system name. By default, it's set to sort the list in ascending order of the match date and time. But if you change it to systems instead, then it'll rearrange the picks as signals generated under each system and its corresponding trends as well. Oh, and finally, we have this new brightness option. Clicking this icon will switch the entire signal section to either light mode or back to dark mode, depending on what you prefer. So these are all of the new and exciting features that have been added to the signal section within Sports Trader 3.0. Overall, the flow within the Sports Trader feels a lot smoother now. It's faster than before and also intuitive. So we really do hope that you enjoy working on and betting with this latest Sports Trader 3.0 update. You know, we consider our sports trader to be a game-changing weapon that you should add to your sports betting arsenal. So no matter whether you live and dream about sports, or even if you don't care about it at all, there is serious money to be made in sports investing, and our sports trader is the tool you need to start making profits. So what are you waiting for? Just go to this page, that's zcodesystem.com slash sportsrader. You can either sign up for the three-day trial or dive right in with the discounted Sports Trader subscription plan. Download our professional Sports Trader and start using our software 
for the best sports betting profits right away. And if you have any questions at all, just shoot an email to techsupport at zcodesystem.com. We are always here to help you. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to take action now so that you can gain the edge you need to make profits in the sports betting world with the help of our latest Sports Trader version 3.0. You take care and we'll see you on the inside.